Today on Handcrafted, I'm going to make this A-frame bookcase. Now, I just cut this picture of one out of a catalog as a guide, but when I'm done, it'll be about 6 feet tall by 32 inches wide. So let's get started. Before starting any project, remember shop safety, safety glasses, and earplugs. Now I'm going to be making this project out of white oak and to get started I need to plane all my boards down so that they are the same thickness. So let's get to the planer. I set the depth of the planer to remove between 1 32nd and 1 16th of an inch with each pass. So I got my boards planed down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is set up my table saw to rip the boards down to 2 inches in width. That will create the leg pieces for my bookcase shelving unit. Next, I need to decide what I want the angle here to be for the front leg piece. First, what I did is I clamped one of the back leg pieces to the workbench on top of this spacer. And what that will do is allow me to position this front piece at an angle so that I can then Mark this angle here at the top, and then here at the bottom, I clamped a 12 inch ruler to the end of the workbench and positioned this approximately 12 inches from the back piece. And then, what that allowed me to do is mark the length and the angle of the front piece, like so. That is how I set this up to get the angle I wanted for the front leg piece. Using a digital angle finder, the angle I need to cut off the front leg is revealed to be 9.5 degrees. So I'll set my miter saw here up at 9.5 degrees and I've also clamped this sacrificial fence here to give me something to rest my front leg piece against while I cut this angle. I just reset my table saw for an inch and a quarter inches wide. This will be to rip my side and back shelf support pieces. So I just finished cutting my five back shelf support pieces at 32 inches long and I've clamped my legs here to the bench again and I clamped the top of the legs together where I cut the front leg angles at 9.5 degrees. And I'm going to figure out the length here of this bottom shelf support piece which will be six inches from the bottom of the leg here. And I'll just line this here up like so, six inches from the bottom so I can mark the length. Now, the rest of my shelves will be approximately 13 inches apart to create five shelves for my bookcase. So now let's go cut this piece at the miter saw. After you mark and cut all five of your side shelf support pieces, it'll look like this. My bookcase shelves will be made out of half inch oak plywood. And so I need to route a uh, half inch rabbit on the bottom of all my pieces that will accept the plywood shelves. So here at the router, I've set up a rabbit bit that I'll use to route all these pieces to half inch. To route this safely, I've clamped the side piece in a wooden vise. So I finished routing all my shelf support pieces. So now I'm ready to start gluing up the uh, sides for my bookcase. I have to route notches into the legs to accept the plywood shelves. 
I will do that with a half inch pattern bit on my router. The ball bearing on the router will ride along this temporary fence so I can cut this notch. Next, I'm going to clean up the corners on the notches with a chisel. I'm ready to start assembling the bookcase now. So what I've done is I've drilled a pocket hole into the back side of the back shelf supports. That will secure it to the sides of the bookcase. My bookcase is nearing completion. I've cut all my plywood shelves to size and now I'm getting ready to assemble the bookcase. My bookcase is all glued and clamped. I'll just let it dry overnight. My A-frame bookcase is now complete. One final thing I did do is I made a oak molding to finish off the front of the plywood shelves. And you can choose to stain it any color you want or just add a clear polyurethane. So with that, you can make your own bookcase for about half the price of buying one. Thank you for joining me on Handcrafted by Lance Mitchell.